how to never again have a shortfall on a property investment. We have all learned as property investors that cash is king and that you want to protect your cash flow at all costs. So you want to make sure that when you have a property portfolio that you don't find yourself in a situation where you cannot afford the shortfalls on a monthly basis. Imagine you've got a tank with water and you've got water running in at the top and water running out at the bottom. You want to make sure that the water runs in faster on top than what it runs out at the bottom. And if you do find yourself in a position where water is running out faster at the bottom than what it is running in at the top, that you've got sufficient water in the tank to sustain you for that period. Now with property investment, it's exactly the same. You want to make sure that your money that comes in, comes in quicker than what it leaves. And if you do find yourself in a position where money is leaving your pocket faster than what the money is coming in, that you've got sufficient cash reserves to sustain you for that period. So what is your cash inflow? Your cash inflow is your rental income. It's your refinancing. If you refinance properties and make capital available, or if you sell a property, you've also got money coming in. What are your outflows? Your outflows are your bond payments, your levies, your rates and taxes, your repairs and maintenance. We can put vacancy there, even though vacancy is the lack of an inflow. And of course, insurance. So all of those are outflows in your property portfolio. So how do you ensure that your inflow is more than your outflow? And if your inflow is not more than your outflow, how to have sufficient reserves in place. You want to make sure that your rent covers your bond payment, your levies, your rates and taxes, and your repairs and maintenance, as well as costs such as your rental commissions, etc. How do you do that? Well, firstly, you need to be creative because a plain vanilla property investment is not going to do that for you. With a normal plain vanilla property investment, you will most likely find that your rental income is less than your bond payments, your levies, your rates and taxes, your rental commissions and your repairs and maintenance combined. Which means that you now need to subsidize that property on a monthly basis. So by being creative, you need to look at how can I increase the rental on that property. Maybe instead of renting out the whole unit, you can rent out rooms and have multiple tenants. Or maybe instead of having one unit on the property, you could have multiple units on the property. Or maybe instead of renting to normal um, young families or having a single young family as your tenant, maybe you could have a student house with multiple students renting from you. You have to be creative and look at alternatives to avoid having shortfalls. Alternatively, you also need to look at the type of properties you are investing in. Sometimes when you buy buildings, where you are renting units out um, in the more affordable space, that can enable you to break even from day one easier than in your more expensive suburb. So all of those are things that you need to consider when we're looking at how to avoid shortfalls. But there's also a way for you to avoid having shortfalls on your plain vanilla property investments or your property investments in your better areas. And that is by refinancing. You can buy a property, but then it's very important. You have to buy this property below market value. And six months later, you can refinance that property and make sufficient capital available to subsidize the shortfall for that property for as long as it will have a shortfall. Let me give you a practical example. Imagine you buy a million dollar property for $800,000 and six months later you refinance that property to a million dollars, meaning you've made another $200,000 available. If your shortfall is $2,000 a month, you've just made 100 months or more than eight years of shortfalls available should nothing else change. But remember, with time, rentals should slowly increase, the value of your property should slowly increase. So it buys you enough time. By the time that those funds run out, you most likely don't have 
a shortfall on that property anymore because of the rental escalations that has taken place over years. So in that way, you can even take a property that would normally have a shortfall, fund itself by refinancing it and making those reserves available to subsidize your shortfall on a monthly basis. It is very important when you refinance that you put those refinanced funds in your access bond so that you don't pay interest on that money whilst you are not using it. Monthly, you can then withdraw only what you need from your access bond to subsidize your shortfall and the rest of the money can still stay there, saving you on the interest on that money. If you like this content and would like to see more of it, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.